had never heard the word granuloma. I had never heard the word Wegener's. Wegener's granulomatosis is a rare disorder in which the immune system, for no known reason, goes into overdrive and begins attacking healthy blood vessels. The vessels ultimately become inflamed and swollen, causing pain, ruptures, and in some cases, a breakdown in normal organ functions. It's possible that if Nicole had not sought medical attention when she did, that the disease process may have gone on to affect her kidneys, and that would have portended a worse prognosis. Perhaps as high as 85 to 95 percent of people would die from complications of this disease before a diagnosis was ever made. Dr. Blackman said that without treatment, that I had probably five months to live with full blood markers. It's clear now that all of Nicole's symptoms, sinus trouble, lattice, asthma, nosebleeds, and bursitis, were the result of groups of acutely inflamed blood vessels causing pain and irritation in those areas. When a diagnosis of wagon training lomatosis is made, you want to start therapy as soon as possible, certainly within the first few days after the diagnosis is made. The standard treatment approach when you make a diagnosis of Wegener's initially is the use of a chemotherapeutic agent as well as uh, medicines called corticosteroids. The chemotherapy suppresses the body's immune system, preventing the immune cells from dividing. These are the cells that cause inflammation when the body is under attack, as in the case of Wegener's. The steroids reduce the inflammation. I started on chemotherapy and steroids in the hospital. When I first got steroids, I felt so much better. It felt like all that pressure I've been feeling in my nose and my teeth was just miraculously removed. This is the best drug ever. But the relief Nicole gets from the treatment comes with grueling side effects and potential dangers. The side effects of steroids are many. Um, most people will uh, gain weight, they will have uh, a voracious appetite, and it can worsen other medical problems such as hypertension or diabetes. Um, occasionally people will develop uh, ulcer disease. It was not until about three weeks into my treatment that I noticed um, my hair was falling out. This is the side effect that I've been dreading, but you know, it's pretty much unavoidable. The weight gain was probably the hardest part. You always hear people talk about the moon face and the buffalo hump, and I didn't get quite as fast the moon face, but I definitely did get it. And it was really difficult to get up and look at myself every day in the mirror. She was feeling a little bit better from these medications she was on, but at the same time, the effects of the medication uh, were, you know, you could see them as visual, so um, it was really, really sad. I was very happy, very pleased to see that the drugs were helping and that she was beginning to feel better and feeling more like Nicole. Looking back at Nicole's medical history, now all of her symptoms begin to make sense. I guess in one, in one respect, I was glad to know that this particular disease had caused all of these symptoms and all the things that I've been experiencing, as opposed to it being multiple things that I had wrong. But still, Nicole wonders why it took so long to diagnose. I think that most people who experience random symptoms don't think that they're connected. Wagner's granulomatosis is a rare disease, and so when someone is initially seen for symptoms that can be attributed to other medical problems, Wagner's is not often thought about. The advantage that I had was that Nicole had already been seen by a number of other doctors, and she presented with symptoms that made the disease process more recognizable. In time, and despite the many challenges of her treatment, life slowly resumes for Nicole. It takes a strong person to be able to just kind of move on through that and, and look for um, relief and look for uh, remission and, and getting better. Getting diagnosed, I think, is half the battle. It seems like once you've gotten that in hand, then you're given the proper treatment, and as long as you take your medication, as difficult as it may be as well as those tablets, it's the difference between life and death. She knows how lucky she is at this point to be here today and just to make the most of, of each day. It does make you, you stop and think that uh, you, you're just not sure what the next day can bring. This experience has definitely changed my outlook on life. There's no cure for this disease. It's just a matter of controlling it. I'm going to have to learn how to live. My life is going to be different from here on out. While Nicole's condition would severely impact her health and day-to-day -day routine,
14.